guys, it's me, Nisha, and I'm coming to you to do um, a video. Um, I did, under one of my sickle cell vlogs, somebody left a question asking could I do a video about my sister because she also has sickle cell. So, my mom and dad had three kids, and I'm the oldest, and I have sickle cell disease, and then... My second sister, she also has sickle cell disease. And my youngest sister from my mom and dad has the trait. So there's three of us. Two of us have the disease and one of us have the trait. So my mom has, has a trait, a sickle cell trait, and my dad have the sickle cell trait. So they both passed the trait on to me, which gave me the disease. And they both passed the trait on to my sister. Which get also gave her the disease. And with my third sister, only one of my parents, not sure which one, but only one of my parents passed on the trait to my youngest sister. And the other parent passed on a normal um, trait. So, normal cell. So, it doesn't have, or whatever you call it, gene. A normal gene. So, she only has one trait of sickle cell. So, she's, she doesn't have any problems. Um... Which is really good for her. And my kids, because my husband doesn't have the disease, my children have the trait for me. So I'm not really sure what um, what you guys would like to know about it. But as me and my sister were 17 months apart. And we, when we were kids, um, we used to be sick a lot. And we used to be sick at the same time. I mean, I do not know how my mother did it, but she take care of two sick kids at the same time and still work and took care of a house and everything like that. So we will have sickle cell crisis at the same time because um, for you, for those of you who don't know, when you have sickle cell, your immune system is a lot lower than other people. So it's easier for us to catch colds and flus and viruses and infections so if one of us will get sick the other one would automatically get sick and then once we get sick when you have sickle cell and you get sick it automatically throws you into a sickle cell crisis so that's what would happen i remember times when i was a child that my mom would be carrying both of us into the er um to take us to the to the emergency room for for treatment or we would I I remember sharing a room with my sister in the hospital in the hospital so um now I say when I got in high school and things like that um I didn't have any problems like that with so I still have my pain and I would have some crisis here or there but it really didn't bother me my sister on the other hand she kept having crisis throughout high school I don't think hers really stopped um I went I told you guys in another video I went like seven once high school I didn't have any problems just like minor problems then I got married at 18 didn't have any crisis for seven years I think my sister was still getting sick throughout that time frame so she really hasn't had a break like I did and then when I was pregnant with my kids um I didn't have any problems, any complications. My sister um, was pregnant with twins and lost the twins due to complications. And then she had my nephew now. And while she was pregnant with him, she was sick so much, like, with him. Um, and after having him, she's still sick now. And now, actually, we'll... We've been having sickle cell crisis at the same time. So when one of us gets sick... The other one gets scared, like, oh my God, I hope I don't get sick. Because it seems like she's going in the hospital and I'm going out, or she's going out and I'm going in, or one of us go in and a few days later the other one goes in. The last time that I was in the hospital, um, we were in the same hospital within a few days of each other. She had went, she actually had to have emergency surgery. And of course, and she was having a sickle cell crisis. Um, I think it was her appendix she had to have emergency surgery for i think yeah i think with her appendix she had to have emergency surgery for, surgery for 
She ended up having a sickle cell crisis. They thought she was better. She got out of the hospital. And she went back into the hospital. And no, no, no. She got out of the hospital. Then I went to go get treatment. The treatment didn't work. So they ended up admitting me. Then like a day or so later, she went into the hospital. And we both were in the hospital on the same floor across the room from each other. I mean, it was funny, but it's not funny. It was funny to us because, you know, sickle cell, that's our life. We deal with it. To other people, it was like, man, dang, both of you guys are in the hospital. But um, what else? Um, we don't take all of the same medicines. We take the same pain medicines, but we don't take the same daily medicines. Some of our daily medicines are the same, but not all of them. Um, our lifestyles are different. Um her husband works uh, a harder schedule than mine. Um, my husband's job is really flexible and he is able to help me with the children a lot. He keeps the um, keeps our kids when I'm in the hospital. My husband was actually able to change his shift so that whenever I'm in the hospital he can be able to take care of the kids by himself. I'm not sure that her husband, I'm not sure if his schedule 100% but I don't think his job is as flexible and he can do that so um, I'm trying to think what else you guys would want to know I, obviously um, well not obviously I have known that I have sickle cell they knew I had it since birth because both knowing my mom had the trait um, and because she was having so many complications they were running all type of tests on me when she was pregnant with me um, so she I think my mother said that they suspected it, but they, she got the letter knowing for sure when I was two months old. So they basically knew since birth for me. And the same thing for my sister. Because of me having it, they definitely were checking her. And so she knew since birth. Um, what else? We do have the same type of sickle cell. Um... Because there are, sickle cell is the disease, but there's different types of sickle cell. Um, and I'm going to do probably like a little rant about the type of sickle cell we have. It's not a secret. We have SC sickle cell. Um, and SC is considered the second worst. Um, the worst is considered SS. And I'm not trying to be offensive to anybody that has a different type of sickle cell. But I'm just going off of research that I've done. And that I've been told by doctors and nurses. But, yeah, you know, we have SC sickle cell. Both me and my sister have that. We both have had to have blood transfusions before. I have a port. She does not. She's trying to get one. Um, she has one child. I have two. She had complications through her pregnancy and delivery. I did not. Um trying to think I think that's really all that I can think of off the top I'm 28 she's 27 we're 17 months apart um, now we both get sick almost equally I would almost say that she actually might get sick just a pinch more than me just a pinch she gets sick just a pinch more than me we get sick equally but I think she like this last month she was in the hospital February she was in the hospital I didn't go back in the hospital February thank God and I'm praying that I can go free and clear February that I can not have to go into the hospital um that's all that I can think of off the top of my head but if you guys want to know something specific just leave it down below and I will be sure to get back to you and answer your comments so that's it guys I'll talk to you later oh and I did do a video saying this, but I do have a Facebook and an Instagram now. It's the same as my YouTube name, Nisha0349. Because you guys always ask me, do I have a YouTube, I mean, do I have a Facebook or do I have an Instagram so you guys can keep up with me. And also, when if I go in the hospital and when I have doctor's appointments, all that stuff, I'll put that type of stuff on there so that you guys can keep me in your prayers and just know as far as what's going on with me and the sickle cell when I can't do videos. So, that's it guys. Bye.